Test, test, test. <laughs> Let's see where this goes. <laughs> My name is Paul Puckett. I'm a fly fishing artist. In the <laughs> Three, two, one. Right here. Drop, 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 go. Nice. Do it for the children. Do the show. Doing it for the kids. All right, buddy. Woo. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Heading out that day, we were heading out for one thing in my mind and thinking about it, I was like, man, you know, we have the right tide, we have the right moon, everything's kind of, kind of right. Right here at 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock, just drop, move it, move it, move it, move it, left, 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 oh my god. You could almost feel it in the air, the weather was getting perfect, the sun was getting behind the clouds, the temperature was changing. See him? Right there. It's gonna happen, dude, they're, they're slurping. Back ass, back ass, slow, oh. slow, keep going, keep going, easy. Worms are going wild, man, so sick though. Keep going, keep going, keep going, buddy. Get him. Nice. Let him go. Yeah, baby. Welcome to the circus. <laughs> Woo. Get it, son. Keep going slow. Here he comes. Keep going, keep going slow. Keep going. Got him. Pull. Let him go. Nasty. Nasty, buddy. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. He's got a trip. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Got him, baby. Nice. Trip. Trip. Easy. Oh, nice, baby. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. All the way over here. Yep, yep. Go. Nice. Woo! Jumper. See ya. Woo! <laughs> got him. Got him, buddy. We'll just see where this goes. Yeah. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> Test, test, testing good. Testing all over the place right now. Oh yeah, we're out here just uh, fishing, guys. Uh, out here just pulling Jared around. Jared Raskob, local here. Uh, he wanted to catch some tarpon, so I thought we'd just bring him out here and uh, see what we can do. <laughs> Paul Puckett, thank you. That test good? Good. You feeling good about it? Oh yeah, I'm feeling good about it. He's just a big, fat, curly head. <laughs> I know, oh, this oh, guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the man maniac for you. Ooh, ooh. All right, big boy's coming in. Okay. Woo! That, dude, that was like a fresh born kitten hey, that just got that's, on there. That's, 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 agile, that's athletic moves right that's there. That's right. Then salmon looks good on you, man. Doesn't it? I'm telling you. Well, it brings out the, the highlights in my red. That's it, the salmon. Yeah. I mean, I you know, it shows off my contours pretty well, too. <laughs> I mean, this, this body doesn't come for free. Well, one of my favorite parts about being not only a fishing guy, but being in the fishing industry is the people you meet. And in this circumstance, I'm talking about Paul Puckett. Just look at the hair, just flicker yeah, it that's, out there. That's the real thing. Oh yeah, I got more hair on my knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> I've known who Paul is for a long time, but never really had a chance to like, not only socially hang out, but hang out on the water. But what an awesome human. Just a gem of a human. Just somebody that just loves to laugh. Somebody that's so yeah. true. Well, let's go do it, man. I got here quick. It worked out, yeah, it. man. You know? Let's do it. I mean, the show, the character he is, he had a flight booked to fly out at seven. It got canceled, and we're supposed to be fishing the next morning. He jumped in his van and drove through the night. Straight, 11 hour drive, straight, to come here, to be here with me and go fishing. I mean, it, it just shows, you know, most people have just been like, sorry, man, I can't make it, you know? No, he's, he, he's coming, Woo! he's coming. There it is, there it is. All right. I grew up in Dallas, Texas, bass fishing in East Texas lakes, and that's where I really fell in love with fishing. And then I started really loving fly fishing and fly fishing out west for trout. Mountain rivers kind of turned into what's the saltwater thing all about. And I started fishing the Georgia coast when I moved out on the East Coast to Atlanta. And then eventually just fell in love with any sort of saltwater species, starting with redfish. And then tarpon fishing about 10 years ago when I caught my first tarpon on my birthday. Seeing that for the first time, I could never forget it. And I always have to chase tarpon. There's just nothing like them. And it's just such a exhilarating experience. Right here at nine o'clock, nine o'clock. Just drop, just drop, just drop. Move it, move it, move it, move it. Left, left, left. Oh, he's right here. Move it, buddy, move it. Oh my God. Oh, 
Now remember, nine o'clock, dead between you and I. Dead right down the middle of the boat. Okay. Oh, that was a nice string of them. Dang it. Man, those were both monsters. That's right, that's right. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Give me a nice cast right here. See the dark where I'm pointing? I think so. Yeah. a little left and drop it. Um, strip along, strip along, strip along fast. Long, long. Pick it up and go left. Go. Nice. Woo -hoo! Oh, what a bite. That was awesome. Look at the size of that fish. This is a beast, dude. Beast mode. Fish the legend. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories, fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats, Fish, the Legend. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Costa, see what's out there. And by Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, bringing science to the fight. And now, 60 seconds in the mill house. John Donnell, the legend at large. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> no, I've had a lot of help. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get down into the Keys and start fishing Florida Bay and this area? I started fishing in the 80s. I was coming uh -huh. down here and renting a house, you know, tarpon fishing. We'd, I'd come down with Bob Ranham. We'd rent a house, Bob Ranham, Jerry Gearing, myself, Kenny Collette. We'd rent a house and we'd be here for eight May and June. Everybody hated us because we, we were from <laughs> out Miami. Out of town. Yeah, out of Miami, yeah. Did so, you have your tires slashed? No, no, never had any tires slashed. Thank yeah, God. You no, know, no, that was, I appreciate but that. But there, there was an era or a time when a lot of the locals were really trying to like keep everybody abreast. Oh, yeah. But there weren't, when we started, you know, there weren't that many. And those guys were pretty solid. I mean, all the old guys, the, all the old Alamorada guides, you know, even the tough ones, they were, you know, they may not talk to you and they may not like you, but, you know, they put up with us, you know. To watch this and other full length episodes of the Millhouse podcast, go to YouTube or wherever you find your podcasts. Strip along, strip along, strip along fast. Long, long, pick it up and go left. Go. Nice. Woo -hoo! Oh, what a bite. That was awesome. Yeah, I see, there's, there was another one I didn't see. What a bite, brother. Way to stick with it. Watch well, your thanks hands. Thanks for right. coaching me, brother. Gotcha. Thanks for coaching me. Woo! Well, good hooks that. That was awesome. You see the way I hooked that thing when he went to pick it up? Woo! <laughs> I told you I'm coachable. Dude, I can barely see that one. Woo! Jumper. Poof! Love it. Perfect size. Perfect size. Starting us off. Perfect size. He's gonna jump again. Here, get ready. Come on, baby. Hey, come on, baby. Do it Do for the, the children. Show. Do Woo! the show. Do the show. For the children, baby. Doing it for the kids. Oh, my famine shirt. Come on. That's one of those where luck kind of helped out a little bit. We were waiting for a couple shots and we got one, you know? And he put on a good show for us. Right there. He's gonna put another show on. He's gonna jump right here. Here it goes. Woohoo! Said, sorry about your day. Whoa. Woohoo! There he goes. There we go. Beautiful, baby. I love it. It never gets old, huh? I'm just glad it doesn't get old for you. That means it can never get old for me because I don't That's get it. to do it all the time. No, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Sweet. Man, that was sweet. That bite that you could hear the suction. Man. Poof. Late bite. Straight up. Here comes the jump. Here it comes. Nope. A nice steady pull up. All right. Keep his head. Keep his head. He's going to probably head shake when he gets me. All right, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. 
Woo, right on the tongue. Right there. Right there. Thanks for coming. Man. Flies out Woo. there. Perfect fish. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Right? And let's watch this. Ah, I can see him. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. Way to get on the board, Wait, son. Right? Right? I think, we should, I think we should do that again. Thanks for the coaching, brother. About 10 more times. 10 more times. Oh, uh, that was cool. That was cool. Awesome. Good job, buddy. Woo! It's fun to get that first fish pressure off, you know? Nice. That makes a man feel good. Might even make a man get a beer. Cold beer. What that was that, like a 40 pound, 50 yeah, pound fish? 40 pound fish. Perfect. That's a bucket size right there. Cheers. It's all about the water. And healthy habitats. And effective management. Conserving our flats fisheries takes all three. That's why BTT is working on all of them. If we do less, we'll lose. And so will the next generation. You can help us achieve the grand slam of conservation by supporting Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. Become a member today at BTT.org. And join us as we bring science to the fight. To learn more, visit BTT.org. When you make the kind of investment I have in boats, from my skiff to my contender, choosing the right trailer is everything. And I choose Ameritrail. They're built tough, man. You know, not only are they stylish and look good, and they have all these features, everything about it is done right. And it makes me feel comfortable trailing my boat down the highway. Ameritrail trailers. Load, launch, relax. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Shimano Fishing Products and G. Loomis Rods. Feel connected. Woo! Simrad Chart Plotters. Go with confidence. Ameritrail Trailers. Load, launch, relax. And by Pathfinder Boats. Angler Driven. I'm in Charleston, South Carolina. It's an amazing backyard. The diversity of the wildlife and the estuary and the flats and the rivers and creeks. Such an inspiring place to be. And that's the beauty of whenever I travel and go somewhere amazing, such as the Keys, I get to go back to Charleston, which is such a great place to fish and, and live. And that's where I paint. And I've got a wife and daughter, and it's just I couldn't be happier in Charleston. I want to get one quick picture of them in the background for my little journal. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Back in high school, I was the guy that was always walking into the baseball locker room with a painting. And, you know, it was a little bit different. Everyone else is all into their baseball, what's going on, all the guy stuff. And here I am walking with my little watercolor painting with a trout on it. And at the time, the guys would kind of all, you know, give me a little heck about it. but. Uh, Hey, here I am still doing it. I'm living out my dream. I get to go fishing and then go home and paint it and then get to go fishing again. And I'm, I'm so lucky and fortunate to get to do what I do every day. My process typically starts with getting loose and kind of slowly getting into it with my sketchbook projects, which essentially is taking something that I've done recently from a photo and I, I, I like to draw that subject matter, whether it was a tarpon jumping or a boat out on the water. Uh, I draw a lot of my friends' faces too, and that's just a way that I kind of get warmed up and kind of get the juices flowing. And then normally the second half of the day will be starting a painting, and I do a lot of layers. The paintings are really layer heavy, so I've got to let that layer dry before I can do the next thing. So the process is slow, but I normally have about four or five paintings going at the same time 
that I can jump into and it keeps everything fresh. My style derives from a lot of my favorite artists that are either past or still around and a lot of them have to do with angling artwork and so being inspired from those guys it's probably just a big kind of hodgepodge of a, a bunch of stuff I've, I've kind of been inspired by and I love the drawing side and illustration side as much as the painting they're both two different things and I definitely bring some of the stuff from the illustration side the sketches into the paintings and I've just learned that being perfect is boring and I, I, I try to keep a little vibrance and a little life. A lot of times I'll get real loose with the paint and let it flow and let, let the paint kind of do its own thing and that kind of is what brings the painting to life, I think. Having this late departure, you know, is, it was all a planned thing in my mind. You know, we have the right tide, we have the right moon, we have everything's kind of, kind of right. It's a little late, you know, it's already happened in other places, but in my mind, I, I was thinking about the worm hatch. You know, something that's magical, that happens, you know? But that was what I had going in my brain all day. It was like, we're headed out to one particular zone that uh, I want to go check out to see if these things are going to worm. And if they worm, I mean, it's, 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 it's Mother Nature at its best. There's one, just yeah. roll. See him? Right there. Yeah. Oh, they're, 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 it's gonna happen, dude. They're, they're now getting excited. Yeah, they're slurping. Yep, they're slurping, boys. Get ready. They're here 11 o'clock, waking at us. Oh, yeah. Left side, drop it. Move it slowly. Move it, move it nice and easy. Keep going faster, faster. Yeah, they're doing it, aren't they? So awesome, man. Here you go. Here, call it. Get it, girl. Got him. Double. I insist on having a clean boat when I fish. It helps protect my tackle, helps protect everything about that boat. So when I choose a cleaner degreaser, there's only one choice Formula 88. Cut. Ah, oh, damn it. Fabulous. Just take a dial of a notch there, cowboy. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats. Fish the legend. Woo! Get ready, might be one more. Get ready. Make a reel. Built to last, Not built to stop. stop. There we go. Woo! And by Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, bringing science to the fight. That's what it's all about, That's Kato. what it is all about. Come on, step up. Where are your grades at? Where are your grades at? Oh, A oh. plus. Oh. A plus. And now, a minute from our conservation partner, Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. I'm Captain Will Benson. I'm a native conch, and I've been a fishing guide for 23 years. Anglers travel from all around the world to chase permit on our flats, which are vitally important to the Keys fishery, the local economy, and livelihoods of captains like me. That's a mature breeding fish. That probably just came back from Western Dry Rock. In recent years, we've noticed a decline in permit. So Bonefish and Tarpon Trust has been working closely with the Lower Keys Guides Association to conduct research to guide improvements to fishery management. Most recently, research findings on the unsustainable loss of permit due to shark depredation at Western Dry Rocks led Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission to enact a no fishing spawning season closure at this site. But there's more to this story. This closure sunsets after seven years, so Bonefish Tarpon Trust is conducting monitoring programs to evaluate the effectiveness of this spawning season closure. BTT is recording depredation rates at three other important permit spawning sites. Together, we will learn the benefits of no fishing spawning closures for permit and provide assessment of other at-risk sites. This information will help stabilize and improve our permit fishing over the coming years. To learn more, visit btt.org. Easy, easy, keep going. Slow. Oh, 
Slow. He turned. Move it. Oh, it's all right. Oh, man. Right here, right here. Slurping. Yeah. See him out there? Yep. Get way to the right of him. Way to the right. Keep going. You're in him. Yeah. Come on, Paul. Keep going. Keep going. Easy. Keep going. Here's the bite. Here's the bite. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Nice and easy. Oh. Move it. Come on, buddy. Keep going faster. Keep going. Keep going. Recast. You're, go again. Go again. Get out farther in the front of him. Come on, buddy. You look at you. The first to and the left. I, I thought. <laughs> look at the left, Paul. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Nice and easy. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep moving it. Keep moving it. <sighs> so sick, though. This is unbelievable. Worms are going wild, man. They're everywhere. Go ahead. A little left. A little left. A little left. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it faster. Get in front of that one. Nice and easy there. Keep going easy. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, buddy. You got to see where your line is. Get him. Get him. Nice. Let him go. Nice. Watch your reel. Watch your reel. And your rod. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Woo! Man, it was worth the fight. You want to get a rod in? No, man. I'd rather enjoy it for right now, dude. Look at him. It's, it's magical to see it, brother, but at the same time, I do believe it's something that's important to them for their spawning. Yeah. Well, thanks for believing in me, boys. Golly. Oh, woo! Woo! <laughs> He's off. off. Yeah. Real, real, real. Just reel it in. He's off. Okay. That's a magic. I mean, look in front of you, though. Let me get you another one going, man. They're still going. Right behind me, dude. Cast right behind the boat. Left, left, left. Keep going. Keep going faster. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Going, got him, shift, let him go. Watch your line around the bow. <laughs> Woo! Got him, buddy. <laughs> Woo! Welcome to Woo! the circus. <laughs> Welcome to the circus, Big baby. One, baby. Woo! Woo! Good job, man. What a cool place, man. Hard to beat this. Unbelievable. Man, I could just soak this all in right here. Oh. This moment right now. Think about it. Yeah. Woo! He's off. He gone. You want to get one? Let's get you one. All right. I'll they're, see right, I, they're right here. I they're can try to right here. Oh my God! Look at this, man. I'm like a little kid. I'm like a little kid up here. <laughs> I can't. Dude, I'm better at the back end these days. I'm just. I, I don't have anything to say. I'm just speechless. I'm just having a blast watching it. There's nothing to say. It might happen right here. Come on, baby. Eat it right here. Eat it right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! Get a son! Woo! Yeah, yeah baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh, incredible. It's fun to watch it from this angle. You know what? It's fun to be on this angle too. <laughs> Every once in a while. I don't get to see it from this man, angle. Man, I don't get to be up here often. <laughs> and this is special, man. What a special day. Oh yeah, Woo! baby. Oh yeah. It's just so cool to watch that fish track that fly and just smash, smash it. it, right? Here he comes. Here he comes. I'm gonna do it right. Five, four, three, two, and jump. Woo! Woo! Woo Man, that's nice. One more. He's gonna do one more right here. Let him have it for a second. Let him have it. Now pull, and he's gonna come up jumping, baby. Here he comes. There it is. There it is. That's awesome, man. What a what afternoon. You can come down, buddy. He's right here. He's gonna come up. Probably do a head shake jump right about now. Right now, do it. Woo! Yep, there it is. Okay, my oh boy knows his tarpon. Now that he's coming at me, wait, let him have it. Oh. <laughs> Good job, bud. Victory is ours! That was awesome, bro. That was awesome. What a cool way to end the day. I think we should just sit back, maybe have a beer, and admire this moment. Yeah. You know? I've been admire known, this moment. I've been known to have a beer and admire. I mean, how do you not? Oh, man. Good work, dude. Dude, you kidding me? We both got that so play with the tarp you, I'm each. so glad you hooked one, too. You know? That, uh, made it, that made it that much better. Incredible. Thank you. Oh, thank dude. you, thank you. Thank you, man. Man, what a day. Oh. Just take it all in. Yeah, brother. <laughs>